Welcome back everybody to Life with DC. My name is Carlos and it's been a month already that I haven't got new gear but this month uh, it's like Christmas in, in August. Uh, we got new gear for, for the month of August. Uh, we, we, we actually, I uh, was learning some new uh, software on my iPad, how to edit some videos and work with the, with the audio and all that good stuff. And uh, that's where my money went that time. So I didn't get no, no new gear. But this month we did. Uh, we got some new gear that came in, I think, uh, this past uh, week and a half. And we're ready to show it off to you. So hang in there, guys. First on the list is the Gondek Hank. This is the new Hank that was sent this in, in August to me. I'm part of the Gondek uh, EDC uh, Hank Club. So every month I get a Hank. You know, I pay, uh, I guess, $10. I think it's $10. You know, they automatically take it from my account. And they send me a, a Hank, I think, by the third day or the fourth day. It's in the mail. So this is my, the, the Hound Tooth. Hank, this is a brand new Hank that I got. Pretty cool. If you want to check it out, go to gondekedc.com uh, and, and check it out. They got other stuff there. So uh, I like their Hanks. Uh, they don't sell this one particular. These are only to the ones that are subscribers to the Hank of the Month Club. So check it out, guys. Gondek EDC Hank. Next, I got a new pouch. It's not a Fox Tactical. I just got this uh, patch and I put it on there. But this is the, this is the pouch I got. It's the Condor uh compact utility a uh, pouch uh i i bought this one i was interested i saw it on on, on uh, amazon uh, i wanted to see what it was all about i want to get a black one uh i want to do something with this uh it's different than the other pouches that i have uh the rest of my the majority of my pouches they're they're clamshell and this was a, a pouch it's long ways and it opens on top it also has a little little uh, zipper over here in front uh for other stuff to carry other stuff but i'm gonna figure out something something what to do with this so this is the condor compact utility pouch uh size you know what they talk about sizes but it doesn't really have a size but uh uh if i'll put the information on the on the description at the bottom you take a look at it and uh, this is the condor utility pouch next next is a regular big lighter you know uh, i have an, a little torch it's a little propane i guess gas uh filled uh lighter i want to get the regular old big lighter i'm not a smoker but uh that lighter uh when i mess with my uh my paracord i like uh you know burning the ends with that with that little torch but i'm going to use one of these now it's not that i don't i don't want to fill the other one up but i want to use that other one for something else and but i'll be carrying this every day on my edc sling bag so the regular old big lighter next next is the, i got another flashlight this is the coast uh 100 lumen flashlight you know what coast you see it at uh an academy at walmart and i'm sold on this brand it is a good brand they, you know it, it doesn't look the packaging by looking at the page you think it's probably generic but these are really good lights i, I really like them uh this one in particular i used to i used to have one at work i use this one at work and uh very very durable battery i mean a flashlight the battery is a, just a triple a battery it's 100 lumens i think it might have two settings that's a high and that's the low it's two settings you know it's hard to to see it but you know it's it's a good little flashlight fits in your hand very very good it gives out a lot of output of the, of the lumens and uh, it's not fancy just two settings and let's go It'll get the job done. Very durable little little flashlight. Doesn't feel cheap or anything. And uh, I remember uh, my flashlight at work. It fell from I think seven feet up, and it turned off. But it turned off because it was already loose because I was messing with it in the in the ceiling, and it just fell. But it was it, I just twisted it back on, twisted that little loose part on, and it went back to work. So it is good. I like it. I look forward to using this flashlight for something, probably in, in conjunction with the with the new pouch. So yeah, Coast 100 lumen uh, flashlight. Next, next I got some new cam jams. These are plastic ones. This comes in a four pack. Uh, these I got them. I think I got them at either on Amazon or Home Depot. But I'll I'll get the description. You just look check out the description. The cam jams. 
these guys i got the little brother actually they're big brother because the big brother to me they're made out of aluminum these are made out of plastic these are how much, how much i'm gonna how much do they hold they hold again in the description it'll, it'll have it and i like the four pack because uh in a couple of weeks uh actually at the end of october we're gonna go to a camping trip so these are gonna fit the bill very very well with the tent to tie it down maybe do a little little uh ridge line and not, you know not to make too many knots but i could use this one i do have the the other one made out of aluminum that one i do have it at work i'll put a little video of what it looks like that one is that one that i use it for work it, it, it resides in my mule pack it that one is all i bought that one because i needed another hand i use that one as my other hand and uh when i tie it up or i'm working on a part that i need to you know i need another person to be holding it that's my other person that little uh cam jam is made out of aluminum i think they're a little bit i think they're like ten dollars and they're just one for ten dollars and very 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 good tool for me because i mean i work by myself and um, i don't want to be asking too many people around that to help me if i could just do it and tie it with that cam jam you know and get it done uh so be it so yep little cam jam very useful tool you need to carry it in my truck maybe i'll after the the camping trip i'll just put these in my camp in my in my bag in my truck next next i got another i got another weather max all weather notepad i mean these are pretty much uh I, I mean as soon as i got it i already had notes to put in it and that's what i did i had to put some information in here so i mean as soon as i got it i put it to work you know I, the last one i filled it out and I saved, I saved it. It's in my desk at work, and you know I did use it this week, and and I didn't realize it was that that many pages that I used. But yeah, very very useful little tool, and I look forward to buying another one because I like Hillman. They're they're pretty tough. I like the the out the the covers on it. It's plastic, and you know if if I sit on it, it'll bend this way because plastic will form to you. Uh, the more you use it that way, you know, a certain way. But, you know, this one, I just fold it back and it's back straight again. So, yeah, a well the weather, weather max, all weather notepad. Next. Next, I got a Husky Precision Driver. Uh, it's, it's a maintenance tool, guys. Like this knife here, it is a, it has, it has more or less of a, either a hex or a Torx screw there. And here's another Torx, here's another Torx. And I think my other, my other knives are Torx as well. And this one has the bits that size to tighten on these screws so i needed something on one of my other knives one of the older knives i think it's a it's a gerber uh the the screws were getting loose so i didn't have a small bit like that and uh, this one comes with it i think i don't know how much it was it was maybe like under ten dollars maybe but it has different torx bits sizes and uh it, either one of these is going to fit one, one, one of these small little screws on your knives so i, I needed this for little maintenance on my knives and uh, to keep up with them because you know before i didn't but and they'll get loose and i'll just put them aside because it's not it's not valuable valuable to me no more because it's all loose is so yeah i didn't want to use that no more I put it aside and i forget i forgot all about it so yeah now i got my tool to tighten up and do maintenance on my knives yep the little husky precision precision driver next Next, I got another hank. Uh, I have a red hank in my uh, in my backpack, you know, actually my sling bag that I carry around, and I need another 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 hank. You know, I got an orange one this time. The other one is red, and this is a Kaiser Kaiser brand orange bandana. Uh, this one, I mean, you could do anything with it. You could cover your head with it, get it wet, put it around your neck. That's what much pretty much what I did with the with the red one. And uh, I need another one, you know, the other one's getting all beat up and everything. And probably next spring, I'm going to have to replace it. But I'm glad to have one now to replace it and or maybe join it in, in taking care of me. So, yeah, a uh, plain old Hank, handkerchief by Kaiser. All right, next. next. I got a new little multi-tool. This little multi-tool is made by Night Eyes. And uh, it is a... Like a pry bar, it could be used as a pry bar. It's a multi-tool, guys. It has m not just one tool, it has uh, many. I think it's up to, it's an eight in one, I believe. It's a nine in one. And and uh, it has a lot of tools, guys. The, uh, uh, has a little ruler, has a little ratchet, has uh, uh, Phillips and flat flathead uh, bits here 
that you can detach and attach it to a little ratchet and you can hear the little ratchet oh yeah that's pretty cool uh i got i found it at, at the where i find it i found this at uh, i think home depot uh, or yeah it was home depot that i saw it and I, I always saw it on on youtube that people had this little tool and uh, i needed to get one myself so uh i got these maybe i'll switch out one of the other night eyes uh little pry bar that i have at work that i'm carrying in, in the, the mule pack and switch it up for this one i mean it's, it's good it has a lot of tools uh i use it i mean i don't just carry it around just to just to carry around but i do use them they're very useful to me i like being resourceful at work because it makes my job a lot easier and faster so the night highs do hickey ratchet to a uh, key tool that's what it's called there it is next next is the bungee it's called better than bungee that's what it's called it's made by pro grip this one i saw it at, at, at uh, home depot i got this one at home depot but the reason i got this one is because i could not find for the life of me my cam jam and and because i didn't find it was because i left it at work i didn't put it back in my my mule pack so I need to buy something right quick. I, I bought this one right quick. The one that at the display that I had there, I was messing with it. I liked it. And uh, I need to tie down some, uh, my ladder. My ladder and my truck was, was slipping and sliding in and out. So I needed to tie it down. And uh, I got this one. Uh, I got one of these. I got a second one for my truck. I'm gonna put this one in my, in the, in my truck EDC bag. And uh, so I could use it to tie down you know anything anything that i'm hauling and uh it's a pretty much i could probably uh, the 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 one at work was it's pretty pretty much standard rope that it has it's not the greatest but it did the job that i needed to do and it's two hooks and uh this little lever releases the string gives you a little bit more and i hooked it one side of the truck hooked it to the other and then tightened it down tightened this baby down and it was holding on my ladder it was pretty it's a seven foot ladder but it was just sliding on top of some other stuff that I had on there. But yeah, this is the Pro Grip Better Than Bungee right there. So if you're looking for one, go check it out. If you have a truck, vehicle, or you want to tighten something down in an emergency, it's good enough right here. Six feet, this is light duty. It would probably hold to me like 100 pounds. Oh yeah, 100 pounds right there. All right, guys. So that's the little Better Than Bungee. Next. Next and last is the flashlight. I got another little flashlight. This one's the tactical flashlight. Ultra slim tactical torch. It says in description 900 lumens, but no, it's not 900 lumens. It's a it's a probably standard maybe 100 lumens just like the other flashlight. But this one is only one setting just just ah two settings there's the other seconds that's the light the that's the low and that's the high all right i thought it was just one sitting uh i guess i just gotta, gotta mess with it and and get the one that's one that's two it's only two settings so i i want to get another flashlight uh, just as a backup for either me my son my wife uh actually the boss uh I like that it's it's cheap is is again it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like it's it's uh it doesn't feel plasticky or anything it feels pretty good it's made out of, out of aluminum i believe i saw that in the description and uh this one was got here second actually i ordered the first it got here second so i had pretty much given up on this flashlight coming in because it gave me a mess uh, uh an email that uh is gonna take longer to get here and i thought no the more likely they were gonna just cancel it and just return my money so i went and got the coast uh flashlight at uh at wally world and to replace this one but then uh i think about two three days later this one arrived so now i have two two of these flashlights so yeah that's the end of the list for the new edc items for the month of august very happy that I got new stuff, uh, very useful stuff. I have I have plans for some of this stuff and for other things, for work, for my truck. And I had some uh, requests, well, actually not requests, but uh, it turned into a request. I had uh, some uh, subscribers ask if I do little survival kits, like out of the, the, the Altoids, Altoids tins. And uh, I, I really don't do them, but uh, we were talking about it, messaging each other back and forth. And uh, I did buy a Altoids tin can at, uh, at the store. 
and it's more or less about about so about so big let me see let me, let me tear this out here okay about so big and i was looking at it and what in the world could fit could be fit in there i saw a couple of videos and to me it wasn't uh what i would use in a emergency uh, situation you know uh as a little kit so i could just grab out of my bag and take off you know i'm, I'm out of there but and i was looked at it looked at the videos i saw one two and uh, two three i think three videos and i was like no way i can't i couldn't make it with a little tin like this and then halfway through the week uh my tin uh, i had it in my back left pocket and uh, i i i uh coming down the ladder backwards and i hit myself on the on top top uh like this the top step and uh it bent the altoids tin and all my altoids were in my pocket on the floor and pretty much the tin was pretty much useless after that and but you know what uh and i was thinking about it the other day i'm going to turn this one into a a uh, an emergency kit and uh, i want to buy some stuff probably by next week I'll, I'll get some fill it up and see what you and put put it out on youtube and see what i what i what kind of comments i get and see what i come up with to get me home in an emergency even though it's a little pouch like this and maybe it's a little bit too big of a pouch but i'm gonna go with this one i like the size of it uh and uh, i could fill it up with pretty much a lot of stuff in here uh we're we gonna see what i can do so yeah it, it was a it was that emergency little tin kit and then they asked me if i made a uh, bug out bug out bags uh a bug out bag to me uh, i mean i don't i don't know I, I i really don't know but they asked me and i went and looked researched it and i saw video videos on it and i i, I googled uh, uh bug out bags see how much they were and they're ridiculous prices to me and i am sure i can make a bug out bag at way cheaper than what some of these guys some of these companies are selling and probably uh, practical just for me like for me from traveling from work to home i think it's like 25 miles i mean uh don't know you know i can do something better than what they're selling and probably uh uh maybe a lot a lot more affordable so we'll see what i what i could come up with and in the future maybe within uh within next month maybe by the mid month i'll come up with a uh, bug out bag but yeah guys thank you again for watching guys uh the 500 subscriber giveaway is still on you know until i get to that 500 i think i'm 100 and 21 121 uh subscribers away so guys please subscribe guys go into that i've been adding a couple of other uh, subscribers on there uh it haven't been many but hopefully uh uh we'll get to that to that 500 subscriber mark and we'll get that giveaway out and uh, just go to the video again it's the 500 this, this 500 subscriber video and put in there i'm in for the skeletal all right guys so thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time